So like, I'm sorry if I sound like a frog. I kind of feel like I'm losing my throat right now. My throat, my voice. <laughs> I kind of feel like I'm losing my voice right now and like, I hope I'm not because I kind of need it. But if I do, I'm so sorry. Hey guys, it's Violet. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be doing a other Halloween video and I'm just, I'm so ready right now. Already. And also for today's look, it is going to be inspired by Queenie Art, I believe her name is, on Instagram. But um, honestly, this photo I've been wanting to recreate for a while, and like I know that people have, but like I haven't yet. So we're gonna do it today on my channel right now. Wow, I'm so good at explaining things. Okay, so I did bring you guys in a lot closer so you can actually see what I'm doing. So hi, hello, how are ya? Um, if I'm being really honest, I have no idea how I'm gonna start this. I'm like kind of nervous, but kind of not nervous because it's an interpretation of her work. It doesn't have to be dead on, but like I'm gonna try my best. So just to start things off with, I'm gonna be going in with this very light pink on a fluffy brush. I'm gonna, it's gonna be kind of like a little transitional color, I guess, and that's doing nothing. Instead of using that light pink, I'm gonna be going in with that dark pink next to it with a little bit of like a light hand. There we go. So I'm just like, kind of trying to have like a little fade going on because like you don't want it looking too harsh. I know it's clouds and like, does like the night sky really care about like blending and stuff? No, do I? Yes. <laughs> so I'm just kind of like going for it at like random places. Like it doesn't have to be even, like you don't want it looking too perfect. So I'm just kind of throwing down like a little light pink where I see fit. So I'm not just gonna be focusing on the eyes with this color. I am gonna also be going down the face with it. So I think for like this color, I don't know. Like, I'm just putting it in places that I see fits. It almost looks like I have a rash. So if you currently look like you have a rash, keep on going. So like, I know it's not shown in the photo, but like I am taking this up to my forehead because I don't have a forehead, I have a five head. So I am trying to, you know, slim down this monstrosity on my head. You do not want to do your forehead. You don't have to. If you want to do your forehead, go ahead and do your forehead. Do you, this is just, that's what I kind of so now that you're looking like you have an allergic reaction to something, we can keep on going. Next, I'm gonna be going in with, I believe it's Kinchi from Sugar Pill, this really pretty electric light blue. That was a mouthful. And just very lightly, I am just gonna be dusting some of the places that I see fit. So I am going to be going back to kimchi later, but I do want to go ahead and use a darker blue. So I'm taking it from the same Urban Decay palette. I'm just going to be dipping it in with a smaller blending brush. And with this, I'm going to start kind of making things a little bit more... I don't want to say defined because I don't feel like we're going to be making things more defined, but I'm just going to define it. I don't know. Next, I'm going in with a purple from Sugar Pill. Um, it's either 2 a.m. or Poison Plum, and I always have this issue, but I'm pretty sure it's 2 a.m. 
If I'm wrong, I'll let you know. So with the purple, I'm just kind of layering it over the pink to give it like a nice like blended look. So like I kind of look crazy. I always look crazy. I kind of look like a mess. I look like a mess. It's gonna get better, I promise. So in my opinion, the main like thing of this look is going to be that cloud across her nose and it's like a way lighter blue than like all the other blues. So to do that, I'm gonna be taking a little detail brush that I got from a craft store and some concealer and I'm just gonna be plopping that concealer on the back of my hand and just taking it from there as I need. I probably could also use my white pencil from NYX, but I'm not gonna do that. So for this, I'm kind of just thinking light cloud shape. So like, I don't want it to be too genitive, so I'm definitely gonna blend it out. But like, I'm just kind of like light cloud shape. So like, it does not have to be perfect, but like, I'm gonna try to make it perfect, you know? So I'm just kind of like, doing what I feel feels right, even though it doesn't really feel right. So I'm just kind of lying to myself right now, I guess. I mean, trust the process, just trust the process. So while that's still tacky, I'm gonna fill that thing in. Uh, just to kind of outline it first, I'm just gonna be taking a small pencil brush and going in with kimchi, that brighter blue, and just like going for it. There's kickback falling on my face because I'm just pressing pigment on. But like, when you're in Galaxy, do you really care about kickback? No, so I don't care about kickback. But yeah, I care about blending. I don't care about blending anymore either, if you can't tell. So kind of for like the lower half of this, I do want to go in with this blue, the not dark blue, the like tealish blue from the Urban Decay palette and kind of like blend it out. It looks like water. It's not supposed to look like water. So I'm kind of just like using that same blue to like blend the edges out. I'm probably gonna go in with a hint of that dark blue right now and I am, I'm just going for it, I have nothing to lose. So I think to break it up a little bit, I am gonna go in with some purple and some areas of like this little cloud.
And with my very filthy brush, I'm going to add a hint of pink. Just to blend out that purple, because that purple's a little harsh. She does also have a hint of blue on her under her lower lip, so I'm going to do that right now. I'm just going to add that with a fluffy brush and just... Oh, there's some purple in there. Hello, purple. Okay, so, <laughs> like, I really like this, but I want to add some sparkle to it. And, like, the only thing I can think of is a palette that, like, I really love this palette, but I don't like the owner of it. I'm going to use it till it's no more, and I probably won't repurchase it anymore. But today, I am going to be taking the Alchemist palette from Kat F.A. Baxter D., and I'm just going to be using the purple shade and the blue shade, which I believe is right here. I'm just going to kind of be highlighting like my upper brow bone and stuff and also my little nose. It's not little, it's bulbous, but it's little. So I'm just going to take my pinky and just get some of the high points. I also think I kind of want to pop this on my lids. Ooh, let's take her there. Let's just do it. I'm not going to get too crazy with the highlighting, but like, I'm going to get a little crazy with the highlighting. So the most important part of this look is next, and it's going to be the little stars and the constellations on her face. So I'm going to be taking my white liner from Suva Beauty in the color Space Panda. That made like no sense, because I just said I'm going to take my white liner in the color Space I'm smart. So this is a water activated uh, eyeliner. So I'm going to be taking some of my setting spray from ColourPop and I'm just going to be spraying the pot. Going in with a detailed brush. Now I recommend before you start doing this on your face, I recommend to uh, draw the stars first on your hand. So like I'm in no way like a expert on drawing stars. I kind of think I suck at it. So if you're like me and you suck at drawing stars, um, you can do this one of two ways. So you can do like a little cross, not a cross, a X with a line through it and call it a day. That looks sucky, but uh, there's a better one right there. Or you could do it like this first. Sorry, I have to like look at it at the same time. You just go a line and then you go like a little angle and then you go to the top line again and then connect it. That sucks, but you get the general idea. Also with this liner, I do find that I need to um, double up on it. So yeah, so I'm gonna first just draw out where I want it and how I want it, and then I'll go back in for a second layer for this liner. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Honestly, I'm happy I kept going. Like, honestly, looking through, like, the footage, looking at the viewfinder, I was like, I look like crap. And, like, who's gonna want to watch this? But, like, with the aftermath, like, I feel like this looks ten times better. Obviously, the stars did cover up a lot of my issues I had going on. But overall, I think it looks pretty cool and, like, I love this. I feel so cool right now, and I don't feel ashamed in saying that. Okay, so that's the end of this Halloween video. If you enjoyed it, guys, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you have questions, comments, and concerns, be sure to leave it down in the comments below. And if you like this video and liked me and would like to see more of me, I know you do, who doesn't? Be sure to hit that subscribe button on your way out, and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!